I love Shelter Island because it's a refuge. The minute you get on that ferry, it's like you're somewhere else. It's like you immediately feel your blood pressure go down. When I have friends and family come, I want them to realize how special a place it is and how not self-conscious it is. I'm Alfredo Paredes, designer and creative director, and you're at my home on Shelter Island. My husband, Brad, and our two children live here with our dog, Lily, and a fish. Was it love at first sight? No, not for me, but definitely for my partner. Well, when we first drove up here, my husband said to me, oh my God, it's like being in a John Irving novel, which I, of course, don't read John Irving, so I didn't know what he meant, but I felt what he meant was that it was very cinematic and sort of like a special, special place. To me, it's not necessarily the house architecturally, it's the whole spot and everything around it. It is a beautiful spot, but the house needed so much work that I was a bit deer in the headlights about it. <laughs> so when I bought the house, I had all sorts of plants. But the more time I spent here, the more I started to embrace the things that had history and decided just to make it a little better. Work with what I got, and I'm glad I did. And in a house like this, it's eclectic, it's collected, it's found. And I like that, the patina. I mean, this was an old hotel in 1870 with no running water, no air conditioning, no electricity, gas lighting, insulation. I mean, a summer only for three months. So it feels like a little hotel. I mean, the fact is you have to bathe in the hallways. The bathrooms are not in the bedrooms, they're in the hallway, like they would have been in a rooming house. So it's, it's, it's relaxed. When I had children, it completely changed my perspective, particularly having a daughter. There were things that I didn't consider before that I consider now. She's like, I want floral printed sheets. I'm like, what? In my house? She's got floral printed sheets. I like my son's room a lot, because who doesn't want to be a little boy in that room? You know, there's just something very magical about that spot. It's very boaty, nautical, boy's room. I don't know, it has a view of the water and it just seems very cozy and special. Oh, it glows in the dark, too. The wallpaper glows in the dark. So even though he never turns off the lights, but when you do, the celestial sky comes up. The kids like to sit in that room where the TV is and they have the tiny little furniture and they sit with their iPads. I mean, that room is theirs. Off the kitchen, they own it. They like their playroom upstairs, though, too, where the dollhouse is. No rooms are off limits, no rooms. I tend to like my designs to be very cohesive. Like I have a whole concept. Even just the fact that kids' rooms change color is a lot for me. So I go slowly into that. When I bought the house, there was a big pile of bricks behind the garage and a chain link fence. And I thought, I'm gonna make it a vegetable garden. And I started it as a project to do with Carolina, my daughter, just to play in the garden. And she calls it her garden. And we've been back there and one year we have cucumbers, the next year we have snap peas, the next year we don't have tomatoes. You know, it's like a constant thing, but it's just something that I like to putz around with her and do. When I first bought the house, there was a dining room where the family room is, near the kitchen. Like, I didn't like the idea of an awful lot of dining room tables. And I also don't love a dining room that sits there empty 90% of the time with people's junk on top of it. So that's why the other room has a round table that kind of feels like a library when we're not here. People just put their computers, they're stacked with homework, they're stacked with whatever. And I just like it that way. I lived in East Hampton for decades, which for 17 years I think it was, and I loved it, but I couldn't take the driving there anymore and the traffic and the hub hullabaloo that became your weekend. So this feels um, a little more low key. Shelter Island feels different than the rest of the Hamptons, I think in part because two-thirds of the island is a preserve. The, the critical mass of, of real estate isn't the same, and there's not a lot of building that can be done. My family loves waffles from Marie's, and then the day's tennis and pool, and playing with their friends in the neighborhood. They have kids all around. Last weekend we had a, a lemonade stand, which Honestly, in my lifetime, I never thought I'd be, you know, setting up lemonade stands, but that's what we did. And they raised about $80, and I had to set up a Venmo account for them. So, that's what we do. 
It's a family house. This is like when you're hearing the children running around, dogs and toys on the lawn, and you know, children change your life. The greenery around me and the trees, I like seeing the outdoors being brought in. I just wanted to feel indoor outdoor. So that's where the green started. For decades, I was the person, one of the people buying all the props for Ralph Lauren. So we were constantly in places buying things or shopping. And in that process, you would just see amazing things, always. And so at a certain point, you start buying them for yourself and collecting the things you amassed for yourself. I love ceramics and pottery, but very specific about what I like in ceramics and pottery. Photography, I've always loved sailing images. I don't know why, I'm not a sailor. My husband is, but I'm not, but I've always bought sailing photographs way before I had this house. Well, the green pottery collection started for me with my friend Mark Cunningham because he started collecting white ones. So we'd go to flea markets or pawn shops and they'd be sitting in the windows for like $10, $7, $5, and I would just buy them and buy them and buy, go every two days and buy something. And I ended up with a huge collection. Of, and ironically, I was really drawn to the green matte glazes. They've become quite popular, quite collectible now. Entertaining here really focuses around being outside by the water. I like to spend time out there with the fire pit and the s'mores and we've had drinks out there and we've had dinner out there. There's nothing but boat regattas out here. Sailboats and big, big boats of all varieties. So it just, it's, a, it's really beautiful to watch and to experience. It's the best sunset I've ever seen. It's a very cinematic spot. And the house becomes very, the way I have it lit, it gets very antique feeling, which I like. It feels like you step back in time. Am I dramatic? Yes, for sure. Very dramatic. But I'm not drama. <laughs> the life I'm living here is my dream life. As long as I'm with my family, I'm in the dream house.